So I grabbed a bigger LiPo battery for my PCB spot welder. This is a ADC 5200 milliamp uh, battery, which means this pushes close to 400 amps. The old battery did about 200, 250 amps. So this is 400 amps. And that combined with my uh, larger spot needle, spot welding needles, ha does allow me to weld the thicker 0.15 both on the battery and nickel on nickel without too many problems and I only have to do two or three spot welds per battery and this really is now a proper um, spot welder so I'm going to build a quick battery pack um, using this and I'll just build a quick 4 um, 4S you know 12 volt battery here um, let me put the spot welder into spot welding mode and we will get going As you can tell, this is now a lot quicker. And again, this is the thick stuff, and this stuff is on there. You can see I can take a pair of pliers here. That's not coming off. That is on there. So um, this is now much quicker and more efficient since I only have to do you know three, four spot welds per battery, and each weld it's each weld is good. I don't have to worry that some of the welds are no good. Um, So these cells are now these cells are now connected in parallel. Let's make the uh, let's make the bridges. This is the thicker 0.15 that I'm using for the bridges. You can tell that uh, that damaged the nickel quite a lot. So those are pretty good spot welds. I'm going to redo that a little bit though. Didn't get didn't get my first ones quite right. Those are nice spot welds, okay. Got this nickel kind of crooked here. Okay, those are properly fused. I am not worried about that going anywhere. Yep, that's on there. 
So, um, as you can see, this uh, spot welder now with the larger battery um, has become pretty fast and efficient. Yep, I am comfortable with those. Okay, where is some more nickel? Let's bridge these. And I need one more piece of nickel. There we go. This battery, or well, one side of the battery is complete. So um, yeah, this spot welder now is fast, efficient. The 0.15 sticks beautifully on itself so we have more current carrying capacity. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with, um, with this, uh, with how this thing is now working. Now just for demonstration purposes, let me spot weld some nickel on it onto some other nickel. Okay, and you can see those spot welds are nice, and then I physically cannot rip that apart. It's slipping in my hands. Let me get a pair of pliers. Yeah, ripped, uh, ripped the nickel. Um, yeah, I'd be more than comfortable with this nickel on nickel contact. And again, that was just three, four quick spot welds. Um, yeah, this, uh, the spot welder is officially working and operational and good enough to build batteries with. So um, a decent battery, some upgraded leads, and um, you're off to the races. I mean, all in, this is now maybe $70 worth of stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it.